I got some ideas on that. Give me that. Mayor to see cow. Give me that. Oh. A few words to say to him, my guy. I got a question for you, sir, already. I'm already recording already. It's, oh, shit, sorry. Yes, you good. question, please. Where is, where, where was Mitchell at yesterday? Changing the oil, changing the filter, probably changing the tire. Who knows? He's done. You do know he goes by the He don't go by mechanic or Mitchell. He goes by maniac. You know this, don't you? I don't give a rat's tushy. He goes by mechanic. He's need to change the oil filter if he knows how to do one. He's ducking. See, the chair's not ducking, is Nah, it's, it's, got got to, it's not ducking, see? Well, I agree, it's not. Sure ain't ducking. I have a question. What was your thoughts on your opponent, John Dozer? I was very impressed. I was very impressed. And thanks, Mitchell. You cost me a match, you jerk. Yeah, his theme song played. <laughs> he got distracted, and John took advantage of it. Anybody else got a question? For the U.S. Heavyweight Champion? Hello? Questions for the US Heavyweight I got I got another question. Oh, what do you think about uh we heard in uh in uh the Hall of Fame in the Hall of Fame speech that uh somebody's wanting the United States Heavyweight title making it relevant, Jim. What do you think about that? <laughs> uh she can have it. <laughs> 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 she can have it. Oh god. Yes. Hmm. Well, I did have a question. Oh, fuck. We'll be here all day. What did you think about the actions of, by the way, this is Corey Cole. Chuck Cole. Uh, what did you think about the actions of Logan Price heel turning on his brothers in oblivion? Oh, three words. Doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> that's more. That's five words. Oh, that's coming from a man me. who knows how to do it himself. So. <laughs> oh, you got a point, sir. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, you got a point. Thank you. I'm from behind the camera, and I thought like, that was. It was pretty gruesome, though, right? Yes. You're sick. He bit. He's sick. He bit Clay Mercer's ear off. That's sick. That nigga. You need some help. You need some help. You need mental help. I think he's probably hanging. Call Marion. Is he being hanging? Star jacket, please. Has he been hanging out with Shayna Baszler? Well, Baszler After what she yeah, did, uh, he's probably been hanging up that twat. <laughs> you have any advice for him for doing something like that? Get help. <laughs> but he just ditched his help. He never had no help. What? He's a ditch. Okay, so my question is: You've done it before. What is your advice for it? Now being well, basically alone, besides having a tag team partner that hates your guts, what's your advice for it? Yeah, you suck. <laughs> 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 he has nothing to suck. You got it. Ain't gonna get you nowhere. I thought it would, but it didn't work for me. We got another question over here. We had a tease, a little bit of tension during a earlier video that was recorded between you and Dustin about a certain qualifying match for Rags and Riches. What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts? Whoever I face, you know that I'm going to put on a clinic. Whoever I face. Considering oh, that God. Dustin has like won a Rags people. to Riches match and you have never won Rags to Riches, wouldn't the Underdog in that match be you? Duh. Okay, well, he's won he's won the Rags Richards. I what's, have, uh, what's your strategy going into that match if that match were to happen? Strategy is do whatever it takes to win. Mm -hmm. You cheat the win if you want. Do what you want. How how well has that worked for you against Dustin in the past? Sort of around sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> I paid the piper on some of those. The Piper. And also, you came up short in the tag team title match yesterday. Don't put that on him. Actually, he wasn't the one got pinned, so. That's true. See so what partner still, I got to get pinned. Are you, we heard that you and Dustin will be facing the Howling Roses at the reunion show. 
Do you think you can redeem yourselves and take the titles? Maybe if you don't get pinned this time. Don't it all. Don't throw the beast. The bus. He got pinned. I didn't. I know he did, but you don't have to throw him over the bus can, like it. Well, I don't know if he can hold his own against him. You're talking about the beast, dude. And your point is? He's an 11-time world heavyweight champion. And your point is? How many do you have? Shut up. That's right. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I've been sick true. Day. That's true. It's about the person that makes the belts. I agree. Yep. I've been sick that day. <laughs> also, I have a question. This is regarding the Bill Rags and Witches match. If you were to be qualified for that match, if you were to win, how long would it take you to cash in the briefcase? Take me as long as I need it. Whenever I can, whenever, whenever the right time is. Would that would depend happen? on who the champion is? <laughs> whoever the champion is, whoever's the right time, I'll cash in. Whoever ain't the right time, that's why I'm not cash in. You never at least, you at least expect. That's all I got to say about that. That was a good answer. That was a great answer. I enjoyed that answer. Any other questions? I don't have any. No, I don't have any. One last question. <laughs> <laughs> and he drops the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. Yesterday, we had a certain reveal that has been itching at us oh, for the last <laughs> two years. <laughs> Hunter Kyoto was revealed to be you all along. Me? What? What? It was a, quite a shocker. No wonder I prefer Kyoto over Robertson. What? Me? He's here? Oh, please. He's in Japan soaking in sushi right now. <laughs> soaking in sushi. Give it up, Hunter. That, you done screwed up. Per, you did reveal yourself to him. To the guy you Me? beat. You revealed no, yourself no, to no, the no, guy no, you no. beat. That was just another mask. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Was another mask I was wearing. No further questions. No. Right. <clears throat> Good. Hand them out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now joined by the Beast, Dustin Little. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal you Okay, no problem. Well, what's your thoughts on uh, potentially taking on? Hunter Becker in a uh, qualifying match. For Rags of Riches. Right, for Rags of Riches. It's just another match with Hunter. Uh. That's the way I see it. Well, you know the outcome on you again. It's true. Eh. It's struggling, I'm sorry. Um, after yesterday's match with Kine, um, you end up losing your... 290 some day title reign due to being buried alive in a Devil's Graveyard match. Um, we know the Beast can't be buried. That's obvious now. Uh, nobody can bury the Beast, not even being buried alive. Do you see yourself going after a potential rematch with Kine? Do I see myself going for a potential rematch with Kine? Yeah, and very soon too. But see, there's another monster that I have beef with first, and I'll deal with that big son bitch pretty soon. I think I know who you might be talking about. The delivery boy. How did you act? You see, this deceiver can come out to his Indian music and get in people's heads. That don't mess with that. That don't gonna, affect it, the beast. It ain't going to affect me at all. Yeah. You see, I looked, I looked kind right in the eye after he was torturing people in the backyard, and I told him, he does not intimidate me. And I'll look at the deceiver right in his eyes, and I'll tell him, he does not intimidate me. I am not afraid of any man that steps in the backyard. But you can be damn sure, by the end of the match, that person is going to will realize he shouldn't have fucked with me. So now, 
I guess I'm just going to have to decapitate the big bastard. And I'll make sure I do. So my suggestion for the deceiver is to put his big boy pants on because he's got a rogue beast after him. And that's something you don't want. If you got questions, go ask Will. In fact, the way I see it, I shouldn't I won't wait for a rematch. I'm issuing a challenge a challenge right now at Racks the Riches. I want that big ugly motherfucker the deceiver. I want that twat liquor con in a triple threat match. Ooh, challenge we'll laid see, out. And we'll just see how big and bad that deceiver really is. Next question. Alright, a follow-up question pertaining to the situation that happened. The deceiver, in a way, did cost you the SBBW World Championship. Yeah. Um, and it seemed like he was being controlled by Kai. Yeah. So, what's what's the deal with that? What? I don't know. I guess the circus gave Kai Viagra and he was horny and he had to find the freakiest bitch at the event. <laughs> It doesn't surprise me. That's what I gotta say. He just bit off. He just bit off more than he could chew. Next question. Hunter, we just interviewed Hunter a little while ago. And he said something about that you were the one that cost them the tag team cha championships. He said that you were the one that got pinned, and he, if he was, it was if it was on his shoulders it would, probably would have been different yeah that's true I mean of course Hunter had a lot on his plate getting upset by John Dozer so I mean I can understand why I'm the one that got pinned it messes with you when you lose to somebody who nobody knows that's true I don't have that problem I don't think I've ever lost to anybody I don't know <laughs> But it was my fault. I'm the one that got pinned. I'm the one that got hit by a sledgehammer. I get Hunter was spent. I was spent. Hell, we were all spent. Losses happen. It just, it's just how you take it. I'm fine. I'm sure Hunter's fine now. As long as the Howlin' Roses are ready for the reunion show, we're going to have one hell of a match. Next question. Yesterday was a really big day for your sister. Yeah. Not only did she win the UCWA world title from Will in a long, long overdue rematch, because uh, he was ducking, obviously. Yeah. And But she went on to win the tag titles. And she went on to win the unification match for the first ever SBBW world heavyweight title. Mm -hmm. What... What are your thoughts and how does it make you feel? How does it make me feel? It, ma it makes me feel proud of how far she's came. Uh, she's busted her ass more than anybody in the company. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I agree. She's the one that goes out no matter what and puts it all on the line. You know, people can say me and Khan had match of the century yesterday. We might have, but yesterday was Nicole's day. It wasn't about me and Khan. It wasn't no. about Hunter and John. I agree. It was, it was about Nicole and how far she's came. You know, there's a lot of talk about greatest of all time being thrown around for our backyard organization. Yeah, Hunter's in the mix. I would assume I'm in the mix. and the, Nicole, Nicole's got to be Nicole there. Nicole pretty much threw her name up there. Oh, yeah. For the greatest of all time. Yesterday. So, I mean, she works hard. She deserves it. It's only going to get tougher from here, though. I can bet your ass that it. Now she's got a really big target. She does. So she, she realizes that. And Nicole is very observant. She's seen... Oh not tooting my own horn, she's seen what happens when you're world heavyweight champion. I mean, hell, everybody guns for you. You know? Being a champion means you're the one that's going to have to bust your ass 24-7 to prove the critics wrong. She's already done that. But now, she's even got a bigger target on her back 
because not only is she going to have Kine or Hunter or you, she's going to have me coming after her because I like gold. Get in line, fuck. You know, but I'm sure that she will handle the pressure as well, if not better than anyone else. You got more questions? Bob, you got any questions for me? No, I'm good, sir. You got your answer to what I was going to All right. I'm good. Nicole, do you have any questions for me? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. <laughs> thanks for asking. I'm not supposed to get asked questions, not the questioners. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that uh, I will mention, um, and this is this is a hard thing to do, but I am not the beast I was two years ago. I woke up this morning and I felt like shit. You know, my body cannot take as much as I used to be able to. Yeah, I might have matched the century, but hell far I was collapsing in the fucking middle of it. No. So um, and there's no turning back from this decision. This will be my last year of backyard wrestling. I will go too creative. I will go help behind the scenes. Hell, I might even become general manager because we got one duck in now. I mean, fuck. True. But after November, I mean, I, I might be able to work out a part-time deal with management, but I'm not going to be doing this every event. No way. I've laid, I've laid my career on the line every time I step in the backyard and I've got nothing left to prove. And that's it. You know, I hope management and everyone respects my decision. But when you, when you get into a shower and you have to lay down instead of stand up, that's when your body's telling you you can't do it as much as you used to. So, now I appreciate everybody, uh, especially Hunter, for texting me that one time saying we got a problem with, who the fuck were them people? Oblivion. Oh. Yeah, this is Oblivion. Wasn't it? Oblivion 2.0. Yeah, uh, Oblivion negative 2.0. Bad negative as they were back in the day. But yeah, uh, Hunter messaged me and said, we need you back. And yeah. But I've been doing this the longest out of anybody that's in the company. Yep. I've won titles. I don't want to be remembered for titles. I want to be remembered for what I've done in the backyard. And that was make my competitors better. And honest to God, I know for a fact I'm ready to hang up the shoes by yesterday, by Khan showing up, by Will showing up, and by Nicole showing up. I have no doubts that if I'm going to get out of this business, and when I say get out, step out of the backyard from competing, it's now. Uh, you got Logan, who's on his pedestal, and the kid, I, I was the one in JSW that believed in Logan. He can say Eric's his mentor all he wants to, but I'm the one that stuck my neck out for Logan no matter what in JSW because I knew and I believed in him. But, you know, Khan's gonna be I mean, he might get a quarter of my World Heavyweight Championship runs. Will, hell, he's not even going to get one more championship run, probably. I agree. He sucks. He's ducking. Nicole, she could probably outrun me the rest of this year. Hell, as soon as, if she ever lost the title, she'd probably win it right back. She could have 16 by the end of this year. But, yeah. Um, I think now is the time that I just say that my body is my body and when your body is the one saying you can't do this anymore that's when you know uh, Eric brought up that I have knee problems and I do uh, so yeah this is this is it this is the farewell tour of Beastville the rest of this year so I have uh, one final question All right. you mentioned Oblivion yeah you mentioned Logan Price yeah 
Um, I asked Hunter this earlier, but I'm going to phrase it a little bit differently for you because you've been down that road, um, and you, like you said, you believe in Logan. No. What level does this take Logan to by doing what he did to Oblivion? Uh, the images that it's put in my mind and and probably Oblivion's mind after what happened is kind of horrific. Uh, so what level does this take Logan to? Listen, Logan's called a lot of heat in every company he's been in. But be the best, you've got to catch heat. You cannot let someone or other people stop you from being the best. I've seen what Logan done. Was it horrific? Yes. But I also understand that Logan made officially made his name known yesterday. Logan doesn't need people helping him. Logan's never needed people helping him. Logan's just needed guidance. Logan's got that guidance. Now, it's up to Logan to prove to everyone else that he has the chance to be the best. He does not need anyone else. The floor is for the taking. You gotta do what you gotta do. See, I faced oblivion personally. Me and Hunter Becker mentally took oblivion apart as soon as I came back. Now Logan's got oblivion out of his mind. Logan is on his own, and now he's going to have, have to hold up for himself. Do I believe he can do it? Absolutely. You got to make a name for yourself somehow. I still believe in you. I still believe you never needed Oblivion to start with. Now it's your time to prove it. Any more questions? No, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Hope you get the film better, Ben. Yep. This should be interesting. Y'all probably have a shit ton of questions for me. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. here's one. Alright, in five, four, three, two. Where's he at? He does it surprise me. He's always late. Is Logan Price supposed to be next. He ain't here. Where's he at? He'll get here in about five minutes and finally two cookies. Give him a cookie and you might go away, but I doubt it. And the money's your horse. And there he is. Here. I don't have a horse. This should be good. Y'all probably have a shit ton of questions after yesterday. There's one half the World Tag Team Champions, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this over with. Go ahead, Bob. Well, what's your, what's your thoughts on winning the becoming the first World Tag Team Champion with your partner, Nicole? Honestly? I've uh, did a lot of thinking about it, and to put my asshole ways aside from yesterday, I'm going to have to say that I was more proud yesterday winning these World Tag Team Championships with Nicole than I was when I first won the UCWA World Championship. I didn't have any build-up to winning my first World World Championship. Well, I had built up with Clay Mercer, and we were building up for a title match. But he ducked. He ran. Tucked his tail between his legs and went back to Clintwood. Mikey stepped up. We had no build. So, honestly, yeah, I was proud to be the UCWA's first champion, but there was no build. There was no story behind it. Yesterday, um, this was my first set of tag team championships that I've ever won. And nobody thought that me and Nicole would get along as a tag team. Nobody thought that 
we would even work. We would probably wouldn't even made it to the tag team championship match. But we bonded as a tag team. We uh, stuck together. We had each other's back. Yep. And now we're tag team champions. And now I heard that the challenge was laid out for the reunion show by the outer circle. And I already had beef with them because they attacked me after my match with Will before Anarchy to make a statement to keep Hunter as United States Heavyweight Champion. So I am formally accepting as tech Team champions for the Howling Roses. Because guess what? You've got to pry it from our cold, dead fingers. Because now that we got these titles, there's no taking them away from us. Next question. Ooh. Why'd you do it? Oh, damn, that was quick. That was quick. I guess you're referring to the, uh... No, I'm referring to nothing. Why'd you do it? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm referring to. I don't know, really. At this point, that's what I'm referring to. I did it. Because it had... <laughs> that was my thoughts exactly. Sorry. <laughs> that was my thoughts exactly. I was going to say the same thing, Nicole. <laughs> well, for one thing, I did it because it had to be done. Who said Myself. You saw it. My inner self you said that it. had to be done. You see, yesterday I did something that I've been planning for a very, very long time. Three years since I was first invited to complete Oblivion. I've been planning this. Use them to get where I wanted to be. Use them to become great. Use them to build my revolution. Build my foundation. I set the table for a feast. Apparently Mercer was the Clay Mercer was the feast with when he beat when he bit his ear off. He had it coming. That's nasty. It is nasty. I must say, his blood tasted nice. That is nasty. It is nasty. <coughs> nasty. Nasty. I wonder if he can I wonder if he can hear us now. You think he can hear us now? I don't know. Probably yeah, might. I stitched his ear back on for fun. Oh, that's good. He's the new at, least, at least he had good medical service. Yeah. I mean, she, she didn't help Will. Well, he about best. I remember that, yes. You still suck. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Absolutely. What did you think about your opponent, John Dozer? Okay, listen. I took him lightly going into that match. I underestimated him. Does he still suck? Absolutely. Is he still a pussy? Absolutely. Did he earn my respect? Absolutely. Like, he pulled out some stuff that I didn't think he had in his repertoire. He put that key lock on me or whatever it was and started choking me out. And honestly, that could have been the end of the match. I'm not going to lie. He, he wasn't lying. He it seems like he's gotten stronger. He earned my respect, and before too long, you might have a, a good mid card champion on your hands. He's not he's not world title worthy yet. He's still got a ways to go, but he has earned my respect. Next question. Okay, so you called John Dozer a. Quote unquote pussy. Then we see Khan come out and we see you shaking in your boots. What was going on in your head there? 
Honestly, I can't remember. Like, people are, people have been telling me and sending me messages, Logan, why did you do what you did at the end of the day with Austin Dustin, the SBBW World Championship? I don't know who the fuck this deceiver is. They're telling me it's my alter ego. I didn't know I even had an alter ego. Like, if if I did, it's, I, I don't remember. It's like been erased from my, yeah. from my memory. Like, Kane Larson, Joseph Creed, Anarchy. All my past gimmicks, the Broken Architect, Priceless One, I remember those. I have no memory of a deceiver. So honestly, I can tell you for one thing that it was not me who cost Dustin the world title. Okay, so you seen Dustin's press conference. I'm pretty sure you've seen fire in his eyes that you know pretty well. You don't know the deceiver. What would be your advice for him? Run. In other words, yes. Uh, I mean, seems like a pretty big deal. I mean, honestly, whoever this deceiver guy is, sounds like Khan's got his balls in his purse. God knows he's got one. So, like... I don't know. I mean, if he wants to cost Dustin a world title, by all means, be my guest, but you got to be prepared for what comes next. I mean, that goes for Kine as well. Kine cost Dustin another chance at history yesterday. And that's probably not sitting well with Dustin. I mean, obviously it's not. I mean, I watched the press conference earlier and I just hate to be on his bad side. I've been there before. Trust me, guys, it's not fun. He's kicked my ass numerous times, set me straight, and it's made me the competitor that I am today. So, boys, deceiver, whoever the fuck you are. You're a dead man. Be prepared. I don't have any more questions. You got a question? What does the future hold for Mr. Price? Right in the tag team division. I mean, I'm pretty sure we were already doing that. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, out of circles on our tails, but. Yeah.